Hi everyone, welcome back to Spiritual Growth Tarot. I'm Denise and this reading is going to be on Fox Entertainment Group. I'm not going to call it news because it's not. It's it, They're licensed as an entertainment group. Just like I am. <laughs> oh goodness, I never thought I would be a, an entertainer of any kind. <laughs> Except for myself. Except to myself. Um, so, there's going to be a little bit of karma in here, of course. And then I will do um, Poopert Murdoch's next, uh, after this reading. But I'm going to look at... Okay, I'll, I'll talk you through it. So what's really going on with them currently? <laughs> yeah. Their biggest challenges currently... Uh-huh. Uh, makes perfect sense. Okay. Uh, let's do... I'm not sure how much room I have, actually, because I don't... I think you know, I don't totally have my camera up all the way, but um, I guess I could move it if I need to. But let's let's look at... Well, we know they lie. We we know they um, promote nothing but um, lies that get people into fear. There might be one or two good ones, but then uh, their MO has been to manipulate people with fear, through fear. So that's, you know, that's what they do. So I don't know if I really need to know about their actions in the past. I, I mean, I think that's pretty clear. So I think I'll devote this side up here to what are their plans? Like, what's going on? Like, what are, what are their current plans? Yeah, again, get people feeling uh, what they want them to feel. All the while, they keep quiet like they're... This is secrets, though, too. Okay, so, um, let's see what they're attracting up here. Success or not, basically. Yeah, they're working on something. Actually, give me one more card. One more card as to their their future, their success. Yeah, that doesn't look too good. Okay, and then... So th this is kind of, you know, well, not kind of. It is short-term, future, near future. So then let me do four cards here, since, yeah, I do have the room for um, their long-term future. All right. Now, I'm pretty sure the dad's still involved, but the I think there's one son that's a little bit of a, you know, he's not, a, maybe both of the sons aren't in alignment with uh, Pooper. <laughs> Actually, let's keep these separate here so we can remember the categories. And I've got a glare so there we go okay so down here as far as currently what they have going on with the eight of pentacles uh they're just mediocre this is a card when it's reversed of poor quality you know lack of quality not really inspired to get to the truth it, it's um you know they have a, they have a hidden agenda of course i um, and their biggest challenge is uh, justice. And I also see this as, of course, you know, anyone would see this as the legal system. Um, this has everything to do with, I mean, they call themselves, what are they, what was it, fair and balanced? What a joke. I mean, give me a break. There's nothing fair and balanced. 
I, what you have is a bunch of whack jobs, like what's her name, Janine Pirro, who's probably an alcoholic and goes on air drunk, just like Rush Limbaugh used to do on his uh, Oxycontin and you know Percocet and Vicodin and all the other crap he was addicted to. Just go on air and spew shit. That's what most of their people do. And, you know, we could say that they're responsible for um, distributing, or what what would be the word? Um, yeah, dis disinformation was what was coming into mind, but I guess distributing disinformation, uh, lack of truth, there's nothing fair and balanced here. And so when the justice card is in the... Um, you know, in the challenge position, you can look at it as being uh, reversed. So then we can take on both meanings. I mean, it's, it's, it's a karmic card, just like, you know, the Wheel of Fortune. There are several karmic cards, but I don't know, I kind of look at everything as being karma because it's the sum total of, of our, you know, everything we're putting out. <laughs> You know, we impress the universe with every single, and I mean impress like imprint, with even just our attitudes. So obviously they're racist. Obviously they're sexist. I mean, remember what happened to Roger Ailes? And he was a big, you know, force. And there, there are movies about him. So, you know, if you haven't already seen them, that's quite interesting. I'm... And Rupert seems to just do whatever he needs to do to keep the money going, but um, doesn't really care about justice. And since he's the driving force behind it, but then again, he, you know, there are he has grown sons now because the dudes, you know, he's up there in age. And I think is he still married to Jerry Hall, or did, has she dumped him yet? I wonder. Um. Anyway, maybe I'll do a little research on him before I uh, do his reading, but. Their biggest challenge now, maybe it wasn't in the past, but currently, there's, um, you know, bad karma. And this is a lesson, big time lesson. And, uh, you know, legal issues because of the corruption, because of the deception. And of course, this is what their, you know, what their plans are. Well, they're planning on just kind of keeping quiet and deceiving. Uh, you know, there's this, I feel like there's this hidden agenda. I feel like this could be one of those times when a reversal could have come through or should have come through. And maybe I just, you know, because I'm not perfect. No human's perfect. And I'm going to get reversals when I should have gotten it straight up and the other way around. But it doesn't matter because you can always, and this is why a lot of people don't read reversals. I mean, I do because it gives an extra, you know, depth and information. But a lot of times you just get inside the energy of the card and then you go with your feelings and you go with the way your guidance system works and you go with, um, <laughs> in this case, we're dealing with a negative entity, so to me, I can read the negative uh, meaning of this card, which which has to do with, like I said, a hidden agenda and uh, betrayals and secrets and you know illusions, not not coming from clarity, not coming from any deep level of you know any depth of intelligence and understanding, except for they do understand how to spin. And they do know how to trigger people's emotions. And that is exactly what they've been doing. And they can, that's, so this is showing me that uh, Rupert and whoever are, you know, in charge, whoever, if it's the sons that, or other people on the board, I'm sure there's probably a board, they plan to continue, you know, this triggering people's emotions and, so just imagine, you know, here we are, we all are as human beings, and we're either comprised of a lot of positive pleasure, which is love, or a lot of negative pleasure, which is, you know, hate and fear and everything in between. They tend to go for the hate and the fear. So, you know, their biggest fans are usually racist, whether they know it or not. They're, they're just hooked into negativity, you know. And you can always tell by, you know, the fact that people are watching their channel. 
but something new is coming in. And I think these cards up here are speaking to the fact that, you know, dark money, there might be some... So here, here we go. This, this is Trump and his dark money people, dark money politics, super PACs, you know. And they have to keep perpetuating the message. The message comes through Fox or Pox, like one of you guys. <laughs> I love that comment. I can't remember who, who left it, but thank you for the giggles on that. One of one of my awesome viewers um, uh, said pox, P-O-X, <laughs> news. I've seen F-A-U-X, of course, you know, like crazy, um, you know, uh, fake, phony. Uh, and... But th this, to me, is Trump. This is, this is his foolishness. This is his, I'll take him off the edge of the cliff and I don't care. Because all he cared about was getting what he wanted. And this is him and his dark money and his CPACs. And this is, this is like Rebecca Mercer, Publix. You could call any, anybody that's, that's um, Citizens United. All these people, all these super PACs that are about to get, I think, blown apart in the future. Um, who knows if it'll take a couple of years or four years or eight years, whatever, I, I don't see it lasting because it's, it's, a, it's damaging. It's a damaging force to our democracy. So what's hanging over them, dang it, I was tapped into something else, and now I, oh, I remember. I, you know, I tend to distract myself sometimes. A lot of images here, right? <laughs> I think another piece of the uh, the message here with the full card is that there's a new, uh, well, it's not new, but there's an awakening happening that people care about. And the success of their channel is not going well. And the fact is, is that MSNBC was the number one watched, not, not, uh, not just you know, news channel, but cable channel, hands down across all the other cable channels. So that's saying a lot. That's saying something. It, so it's not Fox. It, it's not, you know, Fox so-called news. It's not Fox Entertainment Group that most people are watching. So that's good. That's good to know, especially when, you know, MSNBC is, isn't free. It's something you have to, you know, pay for. Now, Pox, so-called news, uh, is free. And so it may seem a little bit more ubiquitous, and it, and it is, but um, in spite of that, in spite of the fact that we have to pay extra for MSNBC, it's the number one most watched cable channel. Um, so, as far as success, because that's what these three cards are about, they're taking risks and they're going to have to work harder to get it done. This is by no means, I mean, I don't have, uh, I don't have the uh, Ten of Pentacles up here. I don't even have the Three of Cups up here to show abundance. I don't have anything up here except for they're still just going to have to keep working. And, and, you know, and collaborate with more dark money. But that's about to go upside down. And, I, and whether, again, with this card, whether it's upside down, whether it's reversed or upright, doesn't matter. It's not a good card for a business to be in. It, not at all. This card has everything to do with... Um, needing to make good decisions and having, um, you know, it's like it, it can be a very testing card because it's all about illusions and it can be fantasy land and daydreaming. When it's reversed, that brings in the meaning of um, not having a lot of choices. You know, I mean, let's look at it straight up. This guy's looking at, hmm, which, what do I really want? Well, reversed they're, they're, they are relegated backwards into time into a realm of survival. 
I mean, yeah, they've got collaboration, they've got workers, uh, they've, they, they do have, you know, still some power, but they're taking risks that are going to prove to be um, uh, unwise, to say the least. And it also shows that they're confused about how to proceed. So, <laughs> that's interesting. I mean, of course they are. I mean, if it, if it all comes from the top, this is all on, I think, Rupert Murdoch and, well, but then there's the board too. But the, the deal is, is that when there's blindness at the top, there's blindness below. And, you know, those the distortions and the... the um, yeah, just the outright blindness uh, keeps them from seeing the bigger picture. So all these people who are involved with the decisions at uh, Fox Entertainment Group, they they can't really see the forest for the trees. Uh, they don't they don't understand that creating you know fairness and equality and getting out the truth is the only thing that matters because when it comes down to it, it you know it's all about it, it's all about our integrity integrity is everything and that's you know that's what's going on with this pluto and capricorn transit that we're just about done with we've had it going on since 2008 and it's been a test for everyone to come into their their integrity you know business and personal so the fact that they're not doing that uh, tells me that they're not going to last. There's going to have to be something that happens in the future. So let's look at the future here. So with the Queen of Wands, this could be a woman. My friend Lisette noticed the... Let me see if I can bring it up to the... With the cat, she was like, Wow, you ever notice those big claws there? But I don't know, maybe they're just the legs, or are they claws, or are they legs? It makes you wonder. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not sure. But, you know, she can be feisty. Uh, the Queen of, Pon Queen of Wands is, um, is that's, I always think of passion, you know. Uh, but there's, there's strength in it. It's all about independence and being very outgoing. But... So I don't know if this is a woman that comes in or a woman that has some power. But then hanging over the moon, I, again, back to the fear, back to the deception, back to the enemies, back to the hidden agendas, back to the riskiness. So it, there's nothing new. You know, there might be a woman that comes in, but it's still just nothing new. Or there might be a woman that's more in charge, but still, back to, you know, deceiving the masses or, you know, the people that watch their channel uh, with the news. They're just deceiving misinformation and lies, perpetuating deception. And then up here with the emperor, you know, here we go with another major arcana. So what do we have here? One, two, three, four, five. Five out of 12 cards, no, six. So half of these cards are major arcanas. So these are big gateways. Well, they're not making it through this first, one of these first four major gateways, which is all about being in your authority and um, organizing reality in a way that is lasting. They are not organizing their reality in a way that is lasting. When it's reversed, this dude is dependent and there are major, major difficulties and lots of disharmony and um, with both of these, it feels like insecure and hopeless. But there is a woman. I tend to look at the pages and knights as messengers and the queens and kings as um, people. So I don't know who this woman is, but it's the fire sign, so we're dealing with either Aries, Leo, or Sag. Um, 
but I don't know if it matters because all these cards are awful. Whoever she is, I wouldn't want to be her. She's going to try something, but she's, you know, it's just going to be more deceptive and in the end wind up being uh, very, oh, besides hopeless, like going in the wrong direction with it when it's a business, it, you know, she's going to end up depressed and feeling like she's lost all hope and she's going to be, they, Fox News, will wind up being rejected. So whatever they've got going on, it's not going to go well. And even if I made a mistake and this card should be straight up, well, then that would just mean that straight up would mean that more news companies are going online and maybe they can't keep up. And at the least, uh, you know, it reveals this like web of deceit, deceit, hidden enemies, risk taking. So it's not good. It's, 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 it's not good. This is not a good future for them. So again, uh, like with Jared's reading, I don't feel the need to uh, look at it from uh, the Kipper, using the Kipper system to, to see it because I can see right here, these, <laughs> yeah, no, this, this, this uh, news, or I'm sorry, um, what, did, what did I forget they're called? Entertainment group, they're going nowhere. They're headed for disaster. So, okay, well, that's, that's my prediction. Take it with a grain of salt, or uh, let's just keep an eye on it. Okay, <laughs> thanks, you guys. Take good care.